Travellers, this is going to be a video tutorial of how you need to access BandLab and create and submit your assignment for today's lesson. Once you follow the link that is on Show My Homework or you type it in with your login, you will be taken to this page where you can sign up or you can log in. As I already have a fake account set up, I'm going to click log in, but you can very much either sign up or click here. So I'm going to log in with the login I have and click log in. Again, you are happy to sign up if you need to sign up or log in. Once I've logged in, it will take me to this page. I will either take me to a page where I need to join a class or it should take me to a place where I've already joined the class. Now, if for instance, it does not take you to a place where you need to join it, I need to put in the code to let myself be joined to it. So, I'm going to join. And then I should see where my assignment is. Now that that's there and I've seen the assignment, I'm going to click literally start assignment. And I'm going to click teacher's assignment so I can start the teacher's assignment put to me. So now I've clicked on the assignment. As you can see, my assignment brief in the corner over here. It says in band love, you're going to learn and focus. So I know that I need to add in this particular clip. So I'm going to go to where attachments are. I'm going to click download which I could potentially download and then I'm literally going to just drag in this attachment drag and drop and now the attachment is already here if I press play the next set of instructions so one click the mixers then create and open a project we've done that already I need to change the BPM to 70 to match the speed of the sample now we need to find on here where it says BPM and if we look right above that is where the BPM that means beats per minute how fast or how slow our piece is going to be now in my assignment instruction instruction sorry it says that it needs to be 70 to match this match the speed of the sample so I'm going to do that and press enter if you've already dragged in your audio you don't want to adjust it as it's already set to that okay it's so my next level of instructions I've uploaded a loop, I need to add a drum kit or drum machine. To do that, you need to go to where Add Track is. I'm going to click that, and then we're going to click Instrument or Drum Machine. But let's go for Drum Machine first as it's here. And what happens on BandLab is it automatically shows you a list of drum machines already available and patterns already available. So if I press Play... <laughs> It's already come up with something for me, a pattern for me. However, I don't want to have that exactly be the same thing. I want to change that to my own thing. But first, for now, we're going to follow the next level instruction. So step five, it says I need to add a new strings track. So I'm going to go to where add track is again. I'm going to go to instruments this time. And I now need to make sure this is a strings track. So I'm going to click here where we've got a little piano sign. I'm going to change this from piano to strings. Okay, so I'm going to click strings. Now in the strings section, we can either do a stringed orchestra or regular strings. So I'm going to change this just to give it a bit of difference to this one and see how the sound changes. Now, when you change and put a sound, you'll see a piano automatically opens for you to play a sound into it. I can also use the keyboard on my laptop to play the sound or I can physically click on each part of the piano. So now I've got the correct instruments there. I've got my strings, which I'm going to label strings, my drum machine, and I've got the sample. The next thing I need to do is to change this drum pattern. So to change the drum pattern, you need to click on where the drum machine is, scroll down to where it says instrument here, and you're going to press that and it should open up the whole entire mix. I'm going to close this for the meantime just so it's out of my way. Right, now I can see fully everything and I, if I wanna see my assignment brief, I can just to refer to it. So, this is a pattern that it currently has. In my previous video that some of you would have seen, I spoke about how we set up a drum kit. Each different layer here is a different section of the drum. So here we can see this is the kick, this one is a floor tom, this is a snare, this is the snare's edge, 
This is a clap sound. This is a closed hi-hat. This is an open hi-hat sound. And this is the crash, okay? So each different section is a different section of our drum kit that we have. So I'm gonna change this pattern a little bit. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the drum pattern. So I'm gonna click some of these drums on and off. Let's see what this sounds like. Again, to click away sounds, you literally click off on where it's highlighted. If you want a sound to be created, you literally click on it and it will make the sound. So let's see what this sounds like. So that's how it goes so far. So now I can add live on top of this another sound. So I'm going to go for a snare. So let's go. So we could have this. I'm going to put in the clap sounds now. Maybe something like this. Let's put some closed hi-hat in here. Now, if I want to highlight a few, I'll click and hold and drag, and it will do it all the way. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything else I can have. Maybe one floor tom. I'm going to press stop on this and I want to get rid of this instrument bar so I can see it. So now I'm going to drag this back and I'm going to hear what this sounds like together. So, so now we've got a little pattern going, I now need to focus on our strings. Again, to open up where the instrument sounds are, we press instrument at the bottom once we've highlighted the correct one. So I've decided I think I want a longer or a different type of orchestra. So I'm going to go back to this orchestra here. Or violin. Maybe violin is going to work. Let's go for a solo violin sound and see what this sounds like. Yeah. So this is the kind of sound I'm looking for. Now, when you look at your sample name, you see it says 10 EPM C 70 BPM. This here lets us know just here in the key of C. So I'm going to press play. Now I need to create a melody using notes that are in the C scale, yeah, which are. easy right so I'm gonna use any one of these notes in a random order so I'll give you an example have a listen some of the notes in there didn't work well and the reason for that is they are not completely belonging in the scale So what I want you to do in that case is to try and hear and see which notes work and which don't. Once you've done that, we're going to just record an idea. So I'm not going to do anything crazy, I think I'm just going to go... We'll try that and let's see what that sounds like. So we go. I just realized that was not recording. The reason for it, please make sure you're now you have clicked on where the piano is before you press record, otherwise, it will not play in. Let's try that again. Yeah, 
Right, we've played that in. It wasn't the best, but it gives you an idea. So when we play it all together, this is what we've created. <laughs> I want to show you how you're going to delete that wrong note if you've got that wrong. Now again, we can double click on where our notes are, or I can click on where it is and click instrument to open up and find out where our notes are. So I'm going to click that again. So instrument is where we play it in and MIDI editor is how we change it. Now I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, the third note that didn't sound very nice along my sample. So let's double check that. Yeah, this note isn't quite right. So I can either delete it or I can move it. Now if I move it, it might sound a little bit better, but it might be better to delete it. Let's have a listen. done all of that you should then be happy to submit now this is a very quick sort of overview and tutorial um, but I am able and happy to give you any or if you've got any questions feel free to send me a message on show my homework and I can explain it a little bit deeper or be able to upload a video for you guys to watch on private link on YouTube um, each different layer so I'm going to go through this again so just to make sure we've got done everything in the assignment I'm going to pull up the assignment brief again okay this clip needs to include the following sounds drum kit we've done that drum machine and strings and we have done that our instructions we've created all of these different things that is correct so we have done everything so far in the assignment I'm going to delete this second section because I haven't done anything to it and what I want you to do is to copy what we have created now you are going to press highlight all of these so from the bottom you're going to click and highlight then you're going to oop. if you right click on your laptops or computers you should see a copy sign and you should be able to copy each one of them you're going to press copy you're going to drag your cursor to where it is and you're going to paste a few copies of this to do this it makes it longer i'm going to do the exact same thing with these ones here with the strings and I've made now my piece a lot longer so in total it is now 40 seconds long so when I play it from the beginning done that I'm able to submit so I can press save if I press save what happens is I will be able to see your work and see what you've been working on so far but it is not officially submitted so I'll be able to see that you've briefly done this but I won't be able to hear it in total until you actually press submit so this is now saved I'm literally gonna click here press submit I can put a description if I want and I'm just gonna put example and submit as we go And what will happen is I now can hear and see this example. It means that when I then log on to my account, Year 9, I will be able to hear a piece of work. As the work is lifted there, if you want to make any adjustments, you can. What will happen is I will be able to give you feedback via Show My Homework and on BandLab itself on how you can improve your composition. If you have any questions, Please do not hesitate to send me a message on So My Homework and I will answer your questions as soon as I possibly can. Have a good evening. Thank you for accessing this lesson. Good luck. I really look forward to hearing your compositions.